welcome back to another vlog. checked in i am all checked in i am exhausted guys the first room that i went to it smelled like someone just checked out and it smelled like smoke so i had to go back to the front desk and ask them hey i need another room i had planned on staying in charlotte downtown charlotte but it would take me 30 minutes to get to the event and i did not want to travel that far i've already drove you know four hours and i wanted to be as close as possible to the event so the hotel that i'm staying at it's clean but it's not like you know the typical hotel that i normally stay in but i'm like you know what for the weekend i'll stay here and i was like ma'am i went to the front desk i was like ma'am i can't stay in this room i i told them you know i want non-smoking and it smelled like someone just smoked and they just checked out and I as soon as they checked out I walked in so I had to go back downstairs and come back and but you know what I am here in North Carolina and I am grateful to God for his traveling mercies I am about to get ready for the event now it's um 408 the event is at 7 but I also have some work to do for YouTube I have some videos that I need to edit and I need to get my outfit ready guys you know how long it takes us women to get ready so I am going to take this time now to edit some videos and then get my outfit for tonight touch up my hair some and then I'll check back in with you guys once I'm ready to go for the event because I'm gonna be so busy right now Okay guys, so I am done getting dressed. I have to show you my entire outfit. Hold on, let me. So that is my entire outfit. I feel like putting on some boots tonight because it's kind of chilly. Black and white with a pop of pink lips. My bag to match the lip. You know, cute, 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 cute or whatever. So anyway guys, I am running late. I have to go. So I will catch up with you guys at the event see you later here's the thing with me and wearing white with makeup on of course i've already got makeup on my dress so annoying 
tonight is the first night. It's gonna be three nights in a row. So I am so excited. just got back to the hotel and I am exhausted the first night was so amazing I'm telling you there were breakthroughs in the room deliverance prophecy just it was just a great time in the Lord um, it was really good it was really good 
my feet hurt because I was dancing the entire time. The praise and worship was just amazing. It was just amazing. Um, I don't know if I get a, if I had shown you guys my um, my outfit, but that is it. I think I showed you guys before, but if not, you get to see it again. It was so cute. I got a lot of compliments. Guys, you don't have to dress naked to be classy. I'm just saying. Whoever that's for, just take it. So I am about to get something to eat. Um, I have some food here that I bought earlier. And I just got something from downstairs. So I'm about to take my makeup off. Right now it's... Um, uh, it's 10.40 at night and I'm hungry so I am about to take my makeup off get something to eat yes this late and then I'm gonna get some rest so I'll see you guys in the morning okay bye see you in the next clip guys I'm just feeling it today today has been one of those days where I'm reflecting because you know one of the things that we like to do as a family was taking trips together and here am I out of town and you know I am here by myself and you know what it does get lonely separation does get lonely and I want to encourage you that when your spouse is doing things that will affect you and affect your mood affect your overall day think about something positive and please don't make decisions based on what they're doing been many a times in the past where I've just decided, you know what? I should just go ahead and file for divorce. Like, why am I waiting on you? You're the one who decided to leave our family. You're the one who up and left the home, not having a conversation with me, not having a conversation about the, the house, the bills, nothing. And you know, he's out here living his best life and I am left at home to take care of everything. Guys, it's day two of the event and I'm going to show you my outfit real quick. So I got the shoes from about four years ago. Nice gold sparkly shoes. And then this is my dress and my back to match and the pink lip. So I am four minutes away from um, the church. I am so excited for night two. I am having such a good time. Siri, I'm talking. <laughs> so I'm having such a good time. In Take the first exit onto Main Street. She's giving me directions, guys. I am so excited to um, be here in North Carolina. The third exit onto Turkey Road. Okay, guys, I have to pay attention to Siri.
ethnicities, wise people, and really dumb people. The foolish ones took their lamps, but did not take along any extra oil. But the wise ones took oil in their flasks along with their lamps. When the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. That's why it's very dangerous to compare your Christian war with somebody else's Christian war because you don't know what they bought while you were sleeping. They don't think you're sleeping the same sleep. Some people sleep wishfully, some people sleep blissfully. This one said to the wise, give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. The foolish one said what? Give us! Today is day three. I am about to go to morning service. And then there is a night service tonight as well at six. Guys, I am tired. I am so exhausted, but I'm having such a great time here in North Carolina, just worshiping God and just like, you know, basking in his presence. It's been a wonderful weekend. Um, right now it's 8.54 and i have to get there an hour early because the parking it was ridiculous yesterday and i'm like you know what i need to get there early so that i can find good parking i was planning on leaving today right after service but i think i'm gonna stay for the night service and just you know travel home tomorrow this has been a beautiful weekend guys i'm having such a great time i wanted to go to charlotte yesterday downtown but it was raining and today um, when I get back from church, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go because guys, I just wanna relax. So I have a vlog that I need to edit as well when I get back from church. So guys, I'm tired. My body is feeling it. You know, you know when you're going, going, going for, you know, a good period of time and then your body's like, hey, you need to slow down. You need to slow down, ma'am. So anyway, I'm gonna show you my outfit that I'm wearing. I did a video of this dress, um, a try-on haul with this dress, but I'm just gonna show you real quick. I have this dress on and then, let me see if I can set you guys up so you can see my outfit. So I have this dress and then this bag to go with it and then I have some heels. I need to lotion my legs. They're all ashy. So this is my outfit for today for morning service. I love this outfit. It's so comfortable. Like I need to be comfortable. I don't need to be, you know. Yeah, so this outfit is so nice. Heels, got some shiny, shiny. So yeah. Then I got this belt to go with it, you know, just to give me some definition in the waist. So yeah, guys, this is the outfit. And so I'm done with my makeup, I'm trying to keep it simple, you know. My face needs to wake up. <laughs> I feel like my whole body's like, hey girl, we need to still take a nap. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna get going right now and um, I'll catch up with you guys um, in the next clip. I am here. This is the final day. Um, yeah, and I just parked. And I am early. I don't mind though. I don't mind being early. I'm gonna go in the church and um, 
you know, walk around and get a better view of the church before service actually starts. So, yeah. Last night they gave me a bad parking <laughs> and now they put me in like another bad parking. But you know what? I'm not going to complain about it. It's closer to the church. Last night when I was walking to my car, the heel of my pumps got inside the dirt. It was digging in the dirt. So my heel looked a mess afterwards. The things that we go through, I'm telling you. But anyway, God is good. Let me show you where I'm at right now. I have to walk all the way over there. My heels are not bad today like last night. So I should be fine walking over there. Guys, I am tired. I am so tired, but I'm grateful to be alive. The sun is up, it's 51 degrees. I might bring my jacket inside because it's kind of chilly. And you know, I'm anemic, so when everyone is, you know, cool, I'm cold. Get this oil off my face. Because I can be oily. I can be pretty oily. All right, guys. So anyways, I'm going to go inside now and I'll meet you guys inside. saw the rich people dropping offerings in the collection plate. Then he saw a poor widow putting two pennies. He said, the plain truth is that this widow has given by far the largest offering today. All these others have made offerings that they'll never miss. She gave extravagantly what she couldn't afford. She gave her all. I just want to encourage you this morning. It's never about the, the amount. It's about the heart. It's not about 10,000, although we will receive 10,000 if you have it. I just count this a real privilege and a real blessing. It's a, a, a real sense of excitement in my spirit. And, oh, David, do you understand? Again, the way this is my handsome husband. <laughs> that I feel like the Lord has given me two things I think we need to do this morning. One is your walls of containment round about you. And you may well, says the Lord, feel hunted by the enemy as you move into this greater glory. The Lord says this, I want you to speak that you will now choose to banish discouragement, to ride the adventure of God from this moment forward. Hey guys, so um, I just got back to the hotel after service this morning. I was going to stay tonight, but I think I'm just going to drive home. Right now it's 1.39 and I'm going to be back in Virginia from North Carolina around 6 o'clock. So that is not bad. I mean, it's spring break. Um, the kids are going to be having fun. You know, kids are out of school, so I have a bit of flexibility. So I think I'm just going to start driving right now. Um, I won't video on my way home. You know, I just want the time to reflect on this weekend. 
you know, spend some time with the Lord worshiping and stuff like that. So, all right, guys, I'll check in with you guys once I am back in Virginia around 6. I might record when I get home or I just might take the time just to, you know, detox from this weekend. Well, not really detox, just to, you know, get back into the groove of things. So, so I'll check back in with you guys once I'm back in Virginia, you know. All right, I'll see you in the next clip.